So when you guys are doing this problem, you know, the main important thing is just using your formula. And, and again, 5 pi over 12, I gave you the separation of your two angles. But now you're just going to apply the formula. And the formula here is for tangent. You can see it's the sum of two angles. So I go over to my tangent formula. And the sum of two angles, u plus v, is going to be the tangent of u plus the tangent of v all over 1 minus the tangent of u times the tangent of v. That's the formula that's given to you, correct? But we're not adding u and v. We're adding pi over 6 and pi over 4, right? Because when you add pi over 6 and pi over 4, that gives you 5 pi over 12, right? Common denominators. So anyways, the first step I would always do is identify what you want to be is your u and your v. Then what I would do is replace, I'm just going to save some work here. Instead of rewriting it, I'm just going to replace u. Let's do it one at a time. I'll replace u with pi over 6. And then I'll replace v with pi over 4. Does everybody follow me so far? Now we need to evaluate. So I kind of went over evaluating the 30 degrees, 60 degrees, pi over 6, pi over 3, same thing. I went over that. Yes, no? Do you guys feel comfortable with that? Maybe, maybe not. So it looks like I'm getting some stairs. So pi over 6 is this angle, which has the coordinate point square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half. The reason why I gave you guys this test earlier, this quiz today, was so that you guys can do this as quickly as I just did. <coughs> Here is your angle, pi over 6. To find the tangent of pi over 6, that's 1 half divided by square root of 3 over 2. When I simplify this, I get square root of 3 over 3. So therefore, the tangent of pi over 6 is equal to the square root of 3 over 3 plus the tangent of pi over 4. Pi over 4 is right here. That point is square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. So when I do the tangent of pi over 4, do you guys see how that's 1? Or do I need to show you that it's the exact same over the exact same, right? So that's going to be square root of 3 over 3 plus 1 all over 1 minus the square root of 3 over 3 times 1. Does everybody see that? See what I did? Yes, no, maybe so. OK. So now, the next step what I would recommend to do is get rid of these. You have a fraction in the numerator, fraction, denominator. My best advice would be to multiply by 3 over 3. When you multiply by 3 over 3, you have to apply distributive property. I have to multiply 3 over here and a 3 over here. 3 over here and a 3 over here. So what's 3 times square root of 3 over 3? That's really 3 over 1. What is this equal? Square root of 3 over 1, which is just the square root of 3. And then 3 times 1 is 3. Over 3 times 1 is 3 minus the square root of 3. Does everybody see that? Now we need to multiply to get rid of our denominator. We need to multiply by the um, conjugate. So I'll multiply by 3 plus the square root of 3. 3 plus the square root of 3. And then, you know, before you guys can see, up top we have a perfect square trinomial. And on the bottom, we have a binomial squared. So to make my math a little bit easier, I'm going to try to simplify this as much as I can in my head. So I'll do 9 plus 2 square root of 3 um, plus 3. All over 3 times 3 is 9 minus 3. So that's 9 minus 3. So I just did the difference of two squares in the denominator, and I multiplied out. If you guys don't really see how I did that, I would recommend writing that out on a separate like, side and do that. But I just don't want to spend time doing the algebra. Um, or showing the algebra, because we've got to move on. So therefore, this becomes 12 plus 2 square root of 3 divided by 6. Do you guys agree with me that 6 has to divide it to both of those? It's just kind of like the reverse. It's like distributed property, but with division. That 6 needs to divide into both of them. So therefore, I have, wait, that's 9 minus 3, right? That's 12. So my final answer is going to be 2 plus the square root of 3 
over 3. No, that becomes a 6. Sorry. And that'd be your final answer. Assuming I did my math correctly, which I'm. That's nine. This cannot be further divided. You cannot further divide it. You could break it up. You could break it up into two plus square root of three over three. You could do that if you wanted to. I'm just checking my work. I'm just seeing that's three. That's plus plus. That's nine. Doesn't matter. Doesn't, I mean, this would be technically a simplified version, but yes, you could write it as 2 plus square root of 3 over 3. I would prefer you have it written like this. Um, that's how Adina would write it, so that's what I would do. Okay, good, kind of.